Yes!
And these students have to be absolutely remarkable in order to get there over the course, over the long haul of four years. To, in order to be on this list, students have to have, had to be above 4.2 GPA. So the top 23 students in the school had a 4.2 or higher a GPA. And um, I'm grateful for the impact of these students as well. When you think about, when you think about uh, how education is going, when you think about the course of our, our society, these students are testimony that we're doing the right thing. So they come from a wide range of, uh, of experiences. They, they added amazing things to our campus. And so um, the impact they've had on our campus is much like Rotary's impact on our community. It's, it's visceral. It's real. They set the bar. And they make the school a better place. So these are not just students who are excellent in the classroom, though, too. We have athletes who are going on to compete at the next level. We have students who are going to be on stage at the, uh, and, and uh, be performing in places. We have students who are musicians who are ready to perform right now in public and make a difference. We have students who are ready to lead, um, whether it be uh, in politics or in their passions. We have wonderful examples of individuals who, uh, who are going to make a difference wherever they go, and they're going to represent our Cana High School extremely well. So, and. I'm finally, I'm, I'm thankful for our parents and, and the supporters who are here today and those who are not. These students would not have excelled and not made a difference and not uh, achieved the way they have if it wasn't for your love and support. And for that, I'm really grateful as well. So thank you to our parents. So the accomplishments and the ambitions, we're going to hear something about each of these students very briefly, but the accomplishments accomplishments and ambitions of these students is humbling. Uh, it's really, it really takes me back and it, it, it makes me think about what is possible. And it's proof uh, that in the face of so many challenges, everybody talks about the new normal of coming out of COVID. It's proof that they, we have the resilience and the possibility of getting things done. And for that, um, their hard work and for their impact upon Arcata High School, I am really grateful to these, all the students that are here today. And we're going to hear about them. So let's give all the students a big round of applause. The way this will work, I have the names alphabetically. I will be sharing something about them. But at the, um, I'll have you, uh, boy, I think some of you might be, I think Abe is ready to stand up. What, uh, if what I mentioned, you want you to stand up so everybody uh, can hear. And then at the end, they're all tangled. But I have these. Beautiful tassels. Don't no, pay no attention to this. I have these beautiful tassels that will give each of you. Um, I'll call everybody up, and, and Rory would like to have a picture of, of the top 10% up here. And these are tassels that represent you in the top 10%. Um, and we'll be get, awarding those. We'll take a picture, and then we'll do the scholarships. There's uh, $10,000 worth of scholarships, and some students are here just for that part of the occasion, and I'm eager to see that. Oh, you can have a table for me. All right. So I'm, uh, some of these individuals aren't here, including the first one, but I wrote something that uh, they, they provided this information. Most of this is in their words. So our first individual, who sadly is not here, is Raymond Alvarez. But I think that uh, I, I think it's important to mention each of these students. She had a 4.289 GPA, and she'll be attending. And I hope I, she's not here to correct me. I'm going to try. Tahano or Daham community in Sells, Arizona, where she's going to be studying her tribal language and culture. According to Raven, in 10 years, she hopes to have uh, rafted all over the world, and I would like to be teaching the Odaham language and helping language revitalization and working in environment. So that was Raven. Armand Abbasi is here. I saw him and his family. 4.325. Where's Armand? Yeah, if you can wave your hand here. There we go. Armand is going to be attending UC Davis as a managerial economics major and a minor in theater arts to pursue a career in business and film acting. So watch for him on the big screen. While at AHS, Armand also was honored with the Williams uh, College Book Award, first place in the Berkeley uh, Business Academy and for youth presentation, and he was an HCOE, Humboldt County Office of Education, Academic Achievement Award winner, Armand Abbasi. <laughs> Next up is Kira Alway. 
Kira is going to be going to UCLA for chemical engineering. She, uh, among the honors that she mentioned, she was on the principals list. But she was also a tiger of the term. That is an important word. You meet those rise standards. She was also part of the HCOE academic achievement team. She was HCOE, she was the one of the two HCOE Home County Office of Education Stellar Student Award winners, a Marky Reed Green Diamond Scholarship Award winner, and a Scholars AP Scholar with honors, and the World Town Recognition Award. Kira Hall. How about Taylor Abbey? Taylor will be attending UC Santa Cruz in the fall, and she plans on a, a pursuing a career in the medical field after she graduates, so coming back to work in the family business, perhaps. We'll see. Uh, Cleo Barnes. Cleo here? Cleo. I'm going to read it anyway. Uh, Cleo 4.209, going to uh, California uh, State University, Long Beach, and majoring in environmental engineering. Cleo's advice. One thing she learned from new students at Arcade High School is be careful in the parking lot. <laughs> I'll be passing that on. Um, how true is that, everybody? Uh, all the students, good advice for everybody. Student drivers, beware. Dylan Berman, 4.220. Dylan. Hey, Dylan. Good. There we go. So, Dylan's going to Seattle University attending um, and studying uh, communications and media with a focus in journalism. And amazingly, Dylan earned a Sullivan Scholarship Award for that school, for Seattle University, which is a full ride at Seattle University. Woo! And Kyla Berman, perhaps related. Oh, there you go. Kyla Berman. There you go. 4.381. Will be attending the University of Puget Sound, where she will be playing uh, collegiate soccer and majoring in exercise science and minoring in neuroscience, with a pre-physical therapy, pre-medical track. So Kyla, Kyla was uh, Kyla was also the MVP of our soccer team, um, and earned the, a seal of biliteracy in French. Kyla Berman. How about Lucas Blair? 4.319. Lucas. There you go. Absolutely. He'll be attending UC Santa Cruz in the fall, where he plans to study um, something in science. He's not really quite sure yet in the science realm. Um, although that's a large field, you have lots of choices. Um, and he is currently undecided as to what that will be, but his ambition, I, I asked the students what their 10 year ambition is to own his own company and, in his words, to be surfing a lot. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, um, next up is uh, Paulo Basquez uh, Palais. 4.6 GPA. And uh, I, this is public now. He's also our valedictorian, so you can follow him. He's going to be majoring in engineering at Swarthmore College in Pennsylvania. He's aiming to become a biomedical engineer. Paulo is super accomplished when you take a look at some of the things he's earned this year. He was, uh, I don't know, resin there. He won a medal for top math student and science student. He, won the, he got the seal of biliteracy in Spanish. He was on the NorCal Honor Band, um, second clarinet. He's a, he won the Maestro, uh, the Maestro Award in Chicago um, at the Chicago Heritage Music Festival. He won the Hispanic uh, Recognition Award for College Board, AP Scholar um, Distinction. Uh, he was second in the math tournament, and he was a wrestler who earned second place in the league. So, Paula, give her a round of applause. And how about Sadie Breen? Sadie's right there. Sadie Breen, 4.483, will be attending UC Santa Cruz and majoring in marine biology. In addition, Sadie will compete as part of the swim team at Santa Cruz. In her words, a lesson that Sadie will take away from Arcata High School is how to work with others. Sadie Breen. I saw 
South Carolina here, Caroline Deeker. 4.209. She's committed to UC Santa Cruz, Santa Cruz and plans to study either sociology or psychology. Um, she hopes to explore possible careers in therapy in the medical field. One thing she's proud of at Arcata High School is that how many times or multiple times she was voted most improved on either her basketball, te her <laughs> basketball team or uh, her volleyball team. And I think this is important because it, she said that it shows its testimony to the hard work I put in and my determination to get better. So, Caroline Deaker. <laughs> how about Morgan Ford, 4.2. One, two, Morgan, where's the Morgan? There she is, Morgan Ford. She's going a little ways away. She's going to Louisiana Christian University, majoring in nursing, and will be playing softball for, uh, for the, the school. She was league MVP at Arcata High School in softball and um, the MVP of her team and league all county. Um, her time at Arcata High School taught her to try her hardest and ask for help when you need it. And I think this is good advice for all of us who don't procrastinate. So, there you go. Morgan Ford, ladies and gentlemen. Next up is John Gerving. He will be attending Cal Poly Humboldt, majoring in computer science and mathematics. Yeah, and um, he, in 10 years, he hopes to be working in a field in, um, in technology like data science or software development. And I can, I can, uh, I'm test I can testify to this. John is also an amazing musician. He's, um, uh, he won, he was the first chair or the only chair for the state of California for, um, on piano for the state of the band. So, John Gerving, an amazing musician. <laughs> Isaac Johnson. There's Isaac. Four point two nine five. He's going to be attending Northern Arizona University, majoring in mechanical engineering. His unforgettable moment at Arcata High School was winning the league in soccer because it was one of the last games that I would play, and um, and with the friends that I had played with for years. So soccer, one of the top things. Isaac Johnson, ladies and gentlemen. And Alden Morrow said he couldn't be here, but he said the sweetest thing, and I want to make sure I share it. 4.429, Alden will be going to UC Santa Cruz, and he'll study computer science and game development. The key lesson, one of the key lessons he learned at Arcata High School is to say yes to things. And I think that's something we can all take in. He said, say yes to things. Be willing to get out of your comfort zone, whether it be accepting an academic or job opportunities, going to community events, meeting new people, or just going on fun adventures. Make sure to understand that school is not just about academics, but finding a balance between academics and the rest of your life. Find a way to be successful by also being free. So that's Alden Morrow. Give Alden a round of applause. <laughs> Next is Ilan McGoldrick. <laughs> she will be attending the University of California uh, in Los Angeles in the fall and majoring in environmental science. Um, Ilan was also an amazing athlete at Arcata High School. She was MVP for cross country. She earned, get this, eight county stars, county championships during her time at Arcata High School in either cross country or track, including four this, uh, this at the most recent uh, track meet for the league. And Ilan, in her own words, is just excited about where life will take her. How about Emma Mitchell? There's Emma. Emma, 4.214, is pursuing a, a business major at Butte College in order to receive an associate's degree before uh, moving to Germany. So, international ambitions. Another recognition she is proud of is she is a Marky Reed Scholarship winner as it, it encourages me, and this is for, true for everybody, and I think this is true for the whole class, to uh, stay involved in her community. So, I hope you do that. Congratulations to Emma. <laughs> Tobias Sanchez. I don't think Tobias is coming. Um, uh, he will be attending UC Santa Cruz, and um, he was a real leader on our in our student government. He was ASB vice president 
and he was one of those key individuals you could turn to when you wanted to get something done. So um, next up is, yeah, let's give Tobias a round of applause. Yeah. Conrad Stimler. 4.262. Conrad will be attending American University in Washington, D.C. and majoring in biochemistry. At Arcata High School, Conrad was part of the National Arts Society and the Varsity Cross Country Team. Conrad Stimler. <laughs> Seneca Turchek. Did I say it wrong? Seneca's not here. Seneca, uh, 4.6 GPA, will be attending UCLA and attending and studying political science. Ever. <laughs> Linnea Visner. <coughs> Did I say it wrong? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for saying what she said. <laughs> Linnea Visner, 4.249. <laughs> I messed it up again. Well, I'll practice later. I'm sorry. Uh, Linnea will be attending Cal Poly Humboldt, staying right in town and majoring in computer science, and would like to go in the direction of animation or game development design. According to Linnea, uh, at Arcata High School, I've learned that to be resilient and you have to be present. And you have to learn people's names. So, <laughs> Linnea. Um, Elaine Young is not here, but uh, 4.217. Elaine will be attending Cal Poly Humboldt, major in energy systems engineering, and plans to minor in journalism and Native American studies. In his future, he'd like to pursue, um, or they'd like to pursue uh, sustainable regenerative engineering and technical writing. There you go, Elaine. Young. Wow, so if you're, if you're present and your name was mentioned as one of the top 10%, I'd like you all to come up and we'll give you a tassel. And, we'll, and Ian is preparing, our photographer right there is moving on the outskirts of town and he'll be taking a picture of each of you. Each of you. So come on up and we'll provide this and we'll stand here and get a photo. Sure everybody. You wanted everybody, right? Uh, but not individually, right, Ian? No, all, all, together. Together. all together now. I believe that's a song from saying when we were kids. All together, come on up. to Johnson. We have the pause in the action. Sydney Hasselquist is here. 4.228. This is what happens when you're old and your eyes are bad. Um, she, Sydney will be attending UC Santa Barbara, majoring in earth science. And at Arcata High School, she was league MVP in volleyball and MVP of her team. And she is an all-league amazing athlete in track and field. Uh, Sydney Hasselquist will make Santa Barbara a better place. Sydney, good job. Come on up. Good job. Rotary. 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 Rotary.
Incredibly well, they were North Coast section champions, and um, uh, and we won that game at home. So it was, it was good to have them here. Um, that is a, an amazing group of kids who, who worked as a team and, and uh, played above. You know, they came together and as a team they achieved more than they could as individuals. So they, they was, it was pretty amazing. And this is actually a really exciting scholarship. This is something for this is our first year doing this particular vocational concentration. So it, it will go towards tools, or if you're not going to a, a four-year college or going to a vocational school, um, this is your opportunity, and we're trying to get this running. So if you know anybody that's behind you that's looking to go into a vocational field, please let us know. We are desperate for people to support going into these fields. Trades are paramount to getting along with life, so that's Our first uh, scholarship award winner that's present is Trinity Hams. <laughs> Trinity wins, was, was earned a $500 scholarship. Um, Trinity is, will be attending Cal Poly Humboldt and studying marine biology. <laughs> You want to speak impromptu? No. <laughs> <laughs> right. Trinity Ham, let's give Trinity a big round. <laughs> so, and you met Kyla Berman. Kyla Berman is won a uh, $500 scholarship from uh, from Rotary. Let's give Kyla a big round. <laughs> Kyla will be, uh, as I mentioned, will be attending Inter University of Puget Sound. So, congratulations. Use that money well. And uh, have fun. So, Kyle Berman, ladies and gentlemen. Um, the next scholarship award winner is Avery Meadows. Avery, wave your hand. Avery Meadows will be attending the University of Kentucky, where, uh, and where that $500 will go far. She's going to study political science. Um, pre, with a pre-law track, and I will say this about Avery, when I really needed something done right away, I went to Avery and Avery got it done. So I really appreciate her. Thank you so much for helping me out so much. The next scholarship is for $1,000. Uh, the award winner is Jared Wallace. Congratulations, Jared. 
He'll be attending Butte College where he'll play football and begin an engineering degree. Interestingly, uh, he, he added that he was lineman of the year for the 2022 uh, uh, football team. He was captain twice. He won the Mark E. Reed Scholarship and uh, he's going to do big things on the football field and in the classroom at Butte. So, congratulations. <laughs> All right, next one is a thousand dollar scholarship. This individual is going to be attending UCLA and, chem and studying chemical engineering. It's Kira Alway. <laughs> congratulations. And the final scholarship, this is so generous of Rotary, uh, $1,500 each of the four years it's re recurring. Um, so that totals to uh, $6,000 for those of you that are good at math. I, there's several math uh, award winners out there, so I went to them to make sure. So this individual is going to be going to Cal Poly Humboldt with an undergraduate degree in astrophysics. Ooh. He wants to be a physicist. It's Liam Hodgson. How about that? Oh, Ian wants all of y'all to come up here. I'm, I'm, that's practicing for when you get to Kentucky. All y'all come up here to get your picture right now. Scholarship. Scholarship. Scholarship group. And so you've got a nice glimpse of it, um, honoring, incredible honoring your kids 
those of you guests who are here, if you're saying, wow, I think this is actually pretty cool and I'd like to know a little bit more, I would just like you to know that we have an invitation for you to come back to a club, a meeting, join us anytime. We would love to have you. So please find me and let me hand you a little invitation to come back and join us if you're interested. All right. All right. All right. President Vanessa? Yes, sir. Can I add to that on the rest? <laughs> okay. Uh, you're all going, you're all going to a place of higher education. That's what I heard anyway. I don't know. Um, I got to see if there's a Rotaract club near you. Rotaract is the young adult version of Rotary, if you will. Um, it's all over the place, all over the country, it's all over the world. And it's a place where you can have a relatively low cost, relatively easy bar, a uh, few bars to entry. You can, you can get a taste of rotary, you can get you can do service. It's a great thing for you to, to check out at good entries. So, rotary, look for it. Especially right. you interactors. It's all the right. next step. Next step. <laughs> step by step.